Um, last week we talked about the differences between kids training and, and street situations and adult training and street situations. And there is a little bit of a difference. There's a lot of similarities, but the little bit of a difference. And like I talked about, the difference is intention. Usually in a schoolyard fight for kids, the intention is schoolyard domination, uh, anti-bullying, etc. They're usually not a life or death situation. Um, I said not usually, but there could be, but usually not. And in a street fight, maybe they're not always, but they usually, you have to train for them to be that way. You have to think of the worst case scenario. You need to train and prepare for the worst, fight for the best, end result, okay? So you're training and preparing for the worst case scenario. You're fighting really hard so you can get the best case scenario. Okay, you guys understand that? Um, be proactive in your training. Be proactive. In other words, don't wait for them to attack you. Be proactive and be training. And then be preemptive in your execution. In other words, don't let them hit you first because that one punch could end everything, including your life. So, we talked about kids' fights and schoolyard domination, etc. Now we're going to talk about adult situations. Why are you training? What is all this practice you're doing? You're hitting the bag, you're drilling, you're hitting pads, you're learning all these techniques. You're not going to fight in the UFC. You're a pediatrician, for God's sakes. What do you care about street fighting? Or UFC fighting, sorry. Um, and I'll tell you why. These techniques we're learning, almost all of them, translate to both. Almost all of the techniques you're watching in the UFC, you can actually use them in street fights. They're, they transfer over. Some don't. There are some things that, that don't. And I'll give you a couple examples. Eye gouging. If you're a life or death situation in the street, you can eye gouge. If you eye gouge in a UFC fight, you'll be disqualified. Biting. If someone's about to get a choke on you or some kind of hold that could disable you or kill you, you can bite. You're allowed to bite in a street fight. Life or death, you can bite. UFC, it'll get you disqualified. Okay, so there are some things that don't translate over, but a lot do. You hit someone with a hard left hook in a, in a UFC match, you're going to knock them out and win the fight. You knock somebody out with a hard left hook in a street fight, you won because you're still alive. Anytime you, you're still alive after a street fight and not paralyzed, a subdural hematoma in a coma, or dead, you won. You walk away. Anytime you walk away from a street fight, whether it's without throwing any punches, you just talked your way out of it, or you had to fight and you, you, you came out on top so you walked away, if you walk away from a street fight, you won. Okay? Now, you might have to go to court now, but it's better to go to court than ICU in a coma. So the main difference, like I was talking about intention, is in a street fight, you need to know in your head, and you have to believe this, that they're trying to kill you. Okay, with that said, okay, if you're a registered nurse or, or you're, you're dealing with some drunk 90 year old, 80 pound woman, and she's like, I'm gonna kill you, and, and no, do not, don't think she's really going to kill you and, and pick her up and slam her and, and kill her because you say, well, Pitmaster said if someone attacks me on the street, I need to be preemptive. So, eh, I don't know, that skinny little bitch was attacking me, so I killed her. No, you need to use some common sense. Okay, with that said, you need to assume if somebody attacks you on the street or is about to attack you, you need to think they want to hurt you really bad or kill you, and you need to respond, okay, accordingly. You need to be preemptive in your execution and not, that, let, that, not let them get off first. Because if they get off first with the first punch, the first body slam, or, or the first elbow or whatever, chances are they're going to win the fight and hopefully not, but they could kill you. One hard punch could kill you. One hard slam on a concrete uh, surface could kill you. Because when your head bounces off the concrete really hard, 
It causes bad things inside of your brain called subdural hematomas, bleeds in your brain. And it could end you up either dead or in a coma. Okay? Could break your neck and end you up paralyzed for the rest of your life. You need to think that's what they're trying to do and you need to react accordingly. Now, if you went a little too far and they weren't planning on that, they should have left you the hell alone in the first place. Because I know none of my people out there that are watching this are going to start the fight. Okay? They're not going to they're not going to start the altercation. They started it. So by them starting your opponent starting the altercation, you need to be proactive, proactive and preemptive and get off first before they get a chance to. Okay? So always assume the worst. Always assume the worst because it's always better to have to answer in court Okay, then have your friends carry you in a coffin. Please understand that. Don't ever, ever start a fight for no reason. Don't ever take a fight on a challenge, like in a bar. So, oh, kick your ass. Let's go outside. Don't go outside. Always say, I don't want to fight. And then if you feel imminent danger, you need to go at it right away before they throw the first punch. But don't ever accept a challenge to fight because then if you hurt that person you're going to jail and you deserve to go to jail you really do and if you get knocked out and end up in a coma i hate to say this but you just ask for it never accept a challenge for a fight unless it's in a cage a ring or some kind of sport fighting thing with a commission and rules and a referee if you accept a fight in a in a uh, a parking lot outside of a bar or wherever, you, you deserve whatever happens because you should never do that. That's just plain stupid. The only time you should be fighting is if it's in a sport fight with a commission and a referee and you're trained or in a life or death situation where someone's about to attack you and you defended your life or defended one of your loved one's lives. And that is what an adult street situation is and that's why you should be training really hard be proactive for those because when they happen you better be ready okay that's all i gotta say you better be ready or else it's gonna be too late thanks for coming guys please subscribe if you have any questions please ask them in the comments or contact me i'm easy to get in touch with thanks